Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and don't mind the background noise. I'm obviously in my mining room here, so I got all my rigs back up and running. As you can see, the weather has improved. It's not so warm, so I fired everything back up. I got the fans going. I got the rigs going, so it might be a little noisy in the background. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Zealous, and that's going to be through Hive OS and it's going to be mainly through NVIDIA, but I believe you can also do it on uh, AMD as well. You just have to set a different miner. But I recently came across this coin. It's been out for a little bit now, like a couple months, but I recently just came across it because I just really got back into mining again. And I seen when it initially got launched, it was like a $35 price point for the coin, and it's pulled back all the way to like, you know, I'd say anywhere from like 5 to $8. I don't know if that was American or Canadian because obviously I'm in Canada, so I look at both prices. And then I seen, I checked out their website and seen like what's behind it and like their whole roadmap. And it seems like so far they've accomplished a lot on the roadmap. It seems like it's an actual coin that might be here to stay. It's kind of, in a sense, kind of like what Ergo was trying to do, but in a better way. And it's a whole new technology. I'm just going to show you what I got up and running here. I got my two 1660s and my 3050. That's just kind of a makeshift rig. I did order uh, six more graphics cards, I think five or six more. And they are the NVIDIA P106100. So they're like that but they're just kind of a different brand or company, if you will. And I only paid $50 Canadian, so like $10 graphics card. I couldn't pass that up at all because I know the performance of them and everything because I use them firsthand and I have no issue even though they're a bit lower end. But for that deal, I was like, why not? I'll pay itself back. And then I have my AMD rig here. I have that up and running. Again, I'm not a huge fan of AMD. I prefer NVIDIA, but I decided to get in the mix. So I have the knowledge of both for Hive OS and mining. And then I have my NVIDIA P106-100 rig. This is like seven graphics cards. Again, like I said, I'm getting another like five or six, which I'm gonna load up on that rig right there and then move those cards probably to that uh, rig that's in the corner here. I have a motherboard and it's a big case, so I'm gonna set it all up. Again, I didn't mean to get off and ran. I just like to update everyone on what's going on with my mining perspective before we get into the mining tutorial. But now we'll jump over to my computer. And again, I'll show you how to mine Zealous on a GPU here. And it works on four gigabyte and higher so far because some of my AMDs are four gigabyte, but if these are six gigabyte, that's six and eight gigabyte. So I've tried it on all and it works fine. The power efficiency is pretty good for it, considering it just depends on the graphics cards you're using, obviously. But I'm getting around like four to 500 watts in between there, well, between both of the rigs right here running it. This one obviously is not using much because it's like three cards. So it's like, you know, three, 400 watts. But then this one is using like, you know, 450 to 500 watts. Still not crazy, it's all set up. But now we'll jump over to my computer and we'll I'll show you guys how to get set up and mining on this and check out the website and such. All right, so now we're over on my computer here. And as you see, we're on the Zealous website and you can check it out for yourself. If you just go in the description, you can click the link and you can get all the information about the coin and the blockchain itself. They have the specifications, they have like their main objectives. As you can see, provide uh, privacy on transactions and balances enable smart contracts, scalable blockchain for daily usage, easy to integrate for developers, and other objectives, issue custom assets identical to the native Zell, uh, PAL algorithm designed as CPU and GPU friendly, decentralized, simple to use. So their main focus, like I mentioned earlier, is CPU and GPU. They just recently did an upgrade to their algorithm to re-ensure that it stays CPU and GPU friendly and that these are the only type of devices on the network. And then you can see the supply and the fees and everything like that. So they run off supply emission instead of like big block rewards and things. So instead of having the reward is decreasing with each block with a maximum supply of 18.4 million. So as the blocks more and more get mined, the total block reward decreases instead of it being just like a having or a big thing happening. It's all to do related to emission, kind of similar to XMR and Monero, that type of like system and algorithm. And then as you see here, they have their roadmap. And as you see, they've been completing all their goals on pace and doing everything that they predicted. Their main net launch was April 20th, 2024. But beginning of the project was back in 2021, so they had time to develop and properly do things here. And then they launched, and then they just recently, July 10th, they released their new uh, proof-of-work algorithm, as I was just uh, stating. 
and then work in progress is a smart contracts so people can build upon on zealous here and build like i believe it's going to be like coins and other assets involved in the crypto atmosphere yeah and then of course you scroll down you can just get more information i don't want to go on and on too much you can check it out for yourself i just want to give an overview since it is a newer coin so if you do want a wallet for this all you want to do is click resources up here because you're going to want a wallet before you start setting up in hive os so you can go ahead and use their web wallet right here that's what i use but then you can go ahead and use their wallet that you download on mobile devices or and on your desktop or you can use a client wallet whichever you prefer they have a few options here and i believe they will be releasing a few more options uh, from what i was reading so once you have your wallet downloaded or set up or set up in the web wallet like i did you want to get your wallet address for zealous here and then you want to come over to hive os on your farm here and then you want to click into your farm just right in here and then you want to click into wallets and once you're in wallets you want to click add wallet and then for the coin ticker of course you just want to use sell so it'll come up come up right here and then all you want to do is paste your wallet address in the address section right here and then give your wallet a name and then click create i already have one set up so then once it's created you want to head over to flight sheets here and then you want to get a flight sheet set up for your rig so all you want to do is type in the coin ticker and then for the wallet you want to select it with the wallet that you set up this was mine here and then for the pool this is all personal preference i personally have been using hero miners and have had no issues at all of course you can select any of them from the list here so i'm going to select hero miners and then since i'm in canada i'm going to choose canada for the stratum of course just go by wherever your location is or whatever is closest to you so you select that and click apply and of course you can just go on the list and then check the mining pool yourself just for payouts and stuff uh, this is hero miners here so you can go ahead and set up on here like i said they have a bunch of locations it shows all their payouts and information and then once you're up in mining you can use your wallet address right there but anyways you go back and then from the miner list here you're going to select one of the three so uh, depending on your device, you can use one zero miner, regal miner, those are both for NVIDIA, or you can use SRB, which is NVIDIA, AMD, and CPU. If you have a rig that has a CPU that's uh, able to mine, you can go ahead and use SRB. And if you have GPUs as well, you can use SRB. So you can just do a big combo rig if you are choosing to. So all you do is click one. I use regal miner myself for my NVIDIA, but if I was using AMD, obviously you use SRB. So you select that. If you click setup minor config it should all be set up for you you can just double check and then you want to give your flight sheet a name and then all you do is click create flight sheet and then it will appear right down here just like mine set up and then just double check it's all set up like the algorithm like i said they recently just did an upgrade so make sure it says zealous hash v2 not just the regular one so make sure it does have that v2 so that way you're just mining the new updated algorithm zealous hash v2 and then what you want to do is once the flight sheet's all set up, you go back to your workers and then you go to the corresponding rig, obviously, that you want to run it on. And then you click flight sheet and then all you do is click the little rocket. So you come down beside the flight sheet that you had set up and click this little rocket and then it'll appear up here and it should start mining. If you have issues with like Regal Miner, try 1-0 Miner, try SRB. There's a few options. And there's sometimes a few different miners that you can use as well. And all you have to do is click show all on that miner list and they'll come up. And then you can just Google what miners work with Zealous Hash and all that information. Mind you, this is just my three card rig, but I'm only using 234 watts. I had my other rig going, but it overheated because it was getting warm again. It's The temperatures are just crazy here. One day it's cooler like for a few days and all of a sudden it's super warm the next day and for like a week straight. So... I've had to turn them off and on here and there but as you see if you go to the overview you'll see that it's all up and running it, this like i said this setup is only three cards but it does pretty well on zealous hash only using that amount of wattage my other nvidia rig the p106 cards that i originally showed at the start of the video there it uses closer to 500 watts about 450 to 500 watts but that's seven cards that's all 60 watt power caps on those cards but they just tend to get warm. I have to take them apart and really give them a good cleaning. But if you are wanting to check out if you're using Hero Miners, you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom here. And you can type in whatever amount that you are getting for your hash rate. And then it'll give you a daily estimate. I had 57 because that was my one rig. If I run all my rigs, I have about 92 kilohash. 
So I'd make about $1.50 Canadian a day and about $44, $45 a month uh, Canadian. So that's not horrible for the cards, you know, they are older cards. But all you do is come down here and then you go to your stats and payment history and then you paste in your wallet address. You can just grab it from the flight sheet. You can just copy it right here. And then all you want to do is paste it right into this box here and it'll pull up your stats. I just recently started mining it, so I only have a little bit, but it'll show you all your pending balance, what you currently have built up, your total paid. And then if you scroll down, I like this with Hero Miners, it shows like it in the dollar amount. So what you get daily, weekly, monthly with your current hash rate, as you see, 36.6 uh, kilohash. And I make about 60 cents daily. It fluctuates quite, quite a bit, obviously, because of the market. But yeah, overall, Hero Miners is definitely a good option. Just in general for mining, I find myself. But yeah, sorry if I rambled on a little bit more in this video. Like I said, it's just a newer project, a newer coin that got released. So I like to kind of go a little more in depth and explain about the project, about the coin. But that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content. And if you have any issues with like the mining setup or anything like that, just post a comment below and myself or someone in the community will be able to help you out. But yeah, hopefully you learned something from this. Hopefully you end up mining a bit, get yourself a little bit of a bag in case it does run uh, with the bull market there's a lot of lot of positive things coming out of the crypto market recently with news wise and just speculation things like that but again that's all i got i hope you all have an amazing day and this is krebsy crypto signing out